On today's episode of Theme Park Bar, we are saying goodbye to one of Universal's longest running attractions, Shrek 4D, by making some waffles. Or drinking a little bit of whiskey. Maybe both. I like both. That's right, we're honoring the Big Green Ogre this week here on Theme Park Bar by making some waffles. Yeah, his favorite breakfast. Well, I think it's Donkey's favorite, but Donkey's my favorite character from the Shrek franchise. It's probably yours too, because, I mean, it's Donkey. It's, it's, it's Donkey. I'm making waffles. Now, we're not actually making waffles here. This is Theme Park Bar, not Theme Park uh, Waffle House. Though, so, you know, hang out with me a little bit. We're probably gonna end up there. I'm getting distracted here. The shot we're making today is actually called a breakfast shot. It's one of my favorite shots to order for friends and to make for people visiting who want something fun. Everybody! This is gonna taste exactly like waffles. It's very quick, very quick, and very easy to put together. You're just gonna need three ingredients and two glasses. Irish whiskey, some butter shots, also known as butterscotch schnapps, and some orange juice. Now the recipe breakdown for this shot is very easy. All you need is equal parts of your Irish whiskey and your butter shots. If you want to do a one ounce pour, just half ounce of each. If you want to do two ounce, a full ounce of each. I'm going to do a full ounce of each because I think life is better with doubles. So you're going to get your two glasses, get your first glass and pour in your equal parts of butter shots and Jameson Irish whiskey. Fold up the glass number two with some orange juice. And there you go, just that quick and easy, you got your breakfast shots. And all you gotta do, it's gonna be a one-two punch to enjoy these things. All right, first with the whiskey, then the OJ. Just that quick and easy and it tastes just like waffles. I love this drink, I love this shot. It's super fun, it's super easy. It, it tastes amazing and it gives you some nice nostalgia. It makes you feel like a little kid eating your Eggo waffles, scrolling the Toys R Us catalog and looking at the new Shrek toys or, or things like that. You know, I, I gotta be real with you guys. I wasn't the biggest fan of Shrek 40. I love this drink though, so I, I'll allow it to throw on just, I just, you know, I never kind of really got the whole Shrek thing. I, I enjoyed the first movie when it first came out, and of course, you know, Shrek 4D being a new attraction, you know, I was eager to check that out when it first opened back in 2003, although I'm old enough to miss the Hitchcock show. But then Shrek just didn't stop. Shrek just kept coming. After Shrek 4D, there became Shrek 2, then there's Shrek the Third, Shrek Forever After, did a bunch of like random holiday stuff with like Donkey's Christmas Shrektacular, Shrek's Yule Log, Shrek the Halls, Scared Shrekless. Then they did the, the Puss in Boots spinoff. We got a lot of Puss in Boots, uh, The Adventures of Puss in Boots. It was like what a TV show. They did the, the, the Halloween thing with the Puss in Boots and 3 d Diablos. Hell, they're doing a Puss in Boots The Last Wish. There's, there's another Puss in Boots coming out. There's too much. There's too much Shrek. But there's not enough of these uh, breakfast shots here. You know, I'm gonna make one more because uh, I just, I just love this stuff. I love this drink so much more than I love Shrek. Look, I understand it was a very important thing culturally. I enjoyed it. Like I said, the first movie when it came out, I have to say my favorite thing. Oh God, that's so good. But I have to say my favorite thing about Shrek though, is I love this whole story about how the movie was kind of made as a big f to Michael Eisner and then it got put into Universal Studios because Michael Eisner built MGM Studios as a f Universal. It's just great. It's it's kind of like this whole like big, you know, f between two mega media corporations, but it just didn't stop. There's a Shrek musical for crying out loud. Why wouldn't it stop? Anyways. We made some progress, because we stopped Shrek 4D. You know, maybe I'm just a hater. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on Shrek, whether it's 4D, the musical, the 28 freaking spin-offs they've done. Let me know in the comments below, or fight with me all over the internet at Theme Park Bar on Twitter and Instagram. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. Hope you enjoyed breakfast shots. 
Uh, if you don't agree with my stance on Shrek, I promise you're going to agree with my uh, my opinion of this wonderful cocktail, this wonderful shot. I mean, stop calling it cocktail, it's shots. If you enjoyed the video as well, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Follow links down below to support the show. And if you really liked it, you can go to patreon.com slash theme park bar as well. Remember, when you're going out, please make sure you're always being safe. You drink responsibly. You never forget to tip your bartenders. Until next time, everyone, keep on trekking. Keep on, keep on, I don't, I don't know what that means. I got a little bit of Until next time, everyone, be safe. <laughs>